Hi, I'm Mr. C, the teacher, and with over 28 years of experience teaching in the public education system, I've specialized in teaching early primary grades, as for children ages 5 to 8. And the lessons I've created here are the same ones I use in my classroom on a daily basis. I've created hundreds of lessons in every possible curriculum area. So grab your tools for school and join in with our lessons, or just sit back and watch along with us. Let's do some learning together, because you're watching Lessons from the Classroom. There is nothing better than a crisp, juicy apple. One of my favorite fruits, because of course, apples are a fruit. And apples, they grow on trees, like this one. Lots and lots of apple products are made. There's apple juice, apple pie. You can mash apple up into apple sauce. You can cut apples up real thin and dehydrate them and make apple chips. And apples come in all sorts of varieties and colors. In fact, there's more than 7,500 different kinds of apples. And apples grow all over the world, in almost every continent and country. Apples come in red, green, yellow, combinations of those colors. From small little apples to really big sized apples. They're a delicious fruit. Today, we're going to learn more about apples. All right, let's take a look a little closer at that apple tree in my neighbor's yard. And we're gonna start off with a, a cut and paste and color worksheet where we're going to label the parts of an apple tree. We'll look at the roots, the trunk, the branch, the leaves, and of course, the fruit, the apple itself. So here we have a cut and paste worksheet for our apple theme unit. It's called Parts of a Tree. And I'm gonna need some coloring pencils, a glue stick, and my scissors. Down at the bottom we have the words trunk, branch, leaves, flowers, fruit, and roots. And we have to cut these rectangles out and glue them into the correct spots and add some color to the picture. Let's start with the cutting and gluing first. So easiest thing to do is just cut straight along the bottom here And then we'll cut all six boxes out. Okay, let's take our words that we've cut out and let's glue them in. Well, it doesn't matter which order as long as we get it in the right spot. This word here says leaves leaves. So when I have a, something that's small like this, best thing to do is put the paper on top of the glue stick with my finger, push it across. That way I'm got, not getting too much glue. So leaves, let's see, where is it pointing to leaves? Ah, here's a box pointing to leaves. I'll put the word leaves in this top box. This next word says roots, roots. So same thing, I'll put my piece of paper on top push it across the glue stick. And roots I know are at the bottom of the tree, so roots is gonna go right there. This word says fruit. Fruit, well the fruit on an apple tree is obviously the apple. That's the fruit. So here's a box with an arrow pointing to an apple. This is the box that is for the word fruit. Right. This word here says trunk. Trunk, that's the main stem of the tree, the trunk. So here we have a box pointing to the trunk. Trunk goes right down here. Roots, trunk, fruit, leaves. Two more boxes on this side. This one says flowers, flowers. 
We have a, an inset picture here, an enlarged picture of the flower. So we'll put flowers right there. And we've only got one word left. It says branch. And we've only got one box left, and it is pointing to a branch on the tree. So flowers and branch go there. All right, we've got all of our words glued into the correct spot. Let's get some color. And because this is a science worksheet, I do want to color it the proper science colors. So I've got roots under the ground. They can often be brown. color in my apples. I'm going to do these ones as red, but apples do come of course in red, green, yellow, and sort of mixtures of red and green or red and yellow together. Let's do our leaves green. And the flower on an apple tree is actually a pinkish flower. They can be white, but usually they're more of a pinkish color. Sometimes they can have Sometimes they can have a, a yellow center to them as well. And there's my finished version. Parts of an apple tree. Well, it's time for a story, and I've brought along a really good one. It's called The Apple Pie Tree. The Apple Pie Tree by Zoe Hall. My sister and I have a tree that grows the best part of apple pie. Can you guess what that is? Apples! And every year we watch our apple tree grow. In winter, our apple tree is brown and bare. But in spring, Leaves grow on every branch. Look, two robins are building a nest in our tree. Tiny pink flower buds appear on the branches. The robins chirp loudly, guarding their eggs. Just when the flower buds open, Baby robins break through the eggshells. Now our tree is covered with blossoms, and the baby robins begin to grow feathers. When breezes blow, the petals fall to the ground. Mama and Papa Robin teach their little birds to fly. Some days it rains and the wind blows hard, but our apple tree is strong and the robins are safe in the branches.
small green apples grow where the blossoms used to be. Soon it is summer. The apples get bigger and bigger. The little robins have grown up, but they visit every day. The branches bend down low. They are covered with big round apples. Now it is autumn. The apples are red and ready to be picked. We fill our basket to the brim. Mom and Dad help us peel the apples, cut them up, and pile them into a pie shell. Then we sprinkle cinnamon and sugar over the top. Mom puts the pan in the oven. At last, the pie is cooked and ready to be eaten. Our tree has grown an apple pie. It smells so good. And it tastes delicious. There's nothing as good as an apple pie you grew yourself. Well, what a great story. I could really go for some apple pie right about now myself. It's too bad this one's made out of plastic. Oh well. Let's learn some more about apples. Well, I may not have a yummy apple pie to eat. But I do have a couple of delicious apples. Now, which to choose from though? Green apples, or red apples, or yellow apples? or a mixture of all those colors. There's so many to choose from. With 7,500 different kinds of apples grown around the world, which one am I gonna like the best? Here in Canada, at the stores, the most popular one sold is the Gala Apple. And in the United States, the most popular one that people like is the Red Delicious. And if you like candied apples, caramel-covered apples, they're almost always made with the sour Granny Smith. So you get that sweet outside and that sour inside bite. Next time you're at the store, check out how many different kinds of apples are for sale. You'll probably find six to 10 different kinds. And here in our very next lesson, we're gonna try out six different apples. With a big piece of paper at home, you can divide this up into six squares and follow along with us as we taste each one of the six different apples and then draw a picture. We'll find out which is your favorite. So today what we're going to do is we're going to draw six different types of apples and we're going to get a chance to cut them up and taste test each one. So what we're eventually going to get done is we're going to get all six apples that we've got up here drawn. But we're going to start off with the first one, the top corner up here. This is our red delicious apple. It's red. In fact, it's red everywhere. There's no green or yellow or any other colors in there. By the way, we always know apples too because they're often labeled with the name on it. But the neat thing about this Red Delicious is the shape of it. So when I look at the shape of this apple, it's not a perfect round flat apple. It's kind of got these four little feet on the bottom. It's kind of skinnier on the bottom and rounder at the top. So hang on there, Avery, because before we start drawing, we gotta see what we're drawing. I'm not gonna ask you guys today to take a red crayon, draw a round circle and color it in red. I'm gonna ask you to draw this apple. So to draw this apple, I have to do this. I have to say, well, this apple, Mr. C, 
is rounder at the top and skinnier towards the bottom. And it kind of has these funny little legs on it, like that. That's what my Red Delicious looks like. It's not a round apple. It's fat at the top, skinnier on the bottom. But it is a red apple, so I know that coloring it in, and I'll try my best to color inside the lines. I don't have to worry too much about labeling it because I've already labeled it as a red delicious. And I said, you might want to bring a green along in case you want to maybe do a, a leaf on it. Maybe a little brown stem where the branch would have been. By the way, the stem is the branch. And down here on this bottom part, that's where the flower was. So the, right there on the bottom of the apple, that's where the flower was, where it bloomed. The apple grew behind the flower that was here. The stem is where it was attached to the tree. All right, guys, so this is our first apple. It's our red delicious. You can see by the shape of it, those funny feet on the bottom, nice and fat on the top. It's all nicely washed. This is our apple cutter. So the center part, the circle, goes right where the stem is. We're gonna push down nice and hard. Let's put our microphone here so we can hear it. You guys ready? Was that a crunchy apple? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was crunchy as well. So there's our core right in the center. This is the part that we don't wanna eat because the seeds actually hide inside of there. There's always five seeds in an apple. And of course this part's all tough and we can't eat the, the stick that's the tree branch, right? So that part comes out. And then we've got our eight pieces here. So those are all nicely cut up and we'll make sure everyone gets one piece. So for the golden delicious apple here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gain, draw my apple maybe a little bigger on the top than I will on the bottom, but not much. And it's going to be yellow. And if you look really carefully, you can also see it's not all yellow. There is a little bit of green and there's even little dots on it. Can you see those little dots? I'll hold it real still. You can see those little dots all over it. Yeah, that's part of the apple. So I'm gonna color my apple in yellow. But I think I'm also gonna take my green and add just a little bit of a shade of green to it. Not much. And I'm gonna add some little dots all over it. And I think same thing too, yeah, I might add a stem to mine. And maybe a leaf on mine. And there's my golden delicious. So this one's the yellow delicious. This is the one, guys, remember? It's yellow, it's got those little spots all over it. We did it in our drawing. Let's take our cutter. This one's a little bit wobbly, it's sitting a bit on the end. So I'm gonna try and put the center part right over the core. We'll get our microphone lined up. Crunchy, maybe not as crunchy as the red, but certainly crunchy. Look at the inside of this one though. It's got almost a little bit of a yellowy green glow to the inside. It's not as white as that red delicious one. All right, let's just say, show that one more time. So the Macintosh apple, a little more squishy, lots of green, lots of red on it. So when I draw this one, I'm gonna draw an apple that's more this shape, right? More of that shape. I'm gonna add lots of red to it. But I'm also gonna add probably just as much green to it as well. I can spot this apple because it's a red and green apple and because of that sort of squishy shape that it has. So when I go ahead and draw my Mac, make sure you're definitely putting reds and greens in this apple. Not just red, not just green, both colors. And again, I think I might add my, my stem. Testing it. Let's listen to it and see if it's a crunchy apple the way the other ones were. So again, I'm gonna put my circle right over top of the stem because I wanna get the core out of this apple. I don't wanna eat the core, you ready? Ooh, big crunch.
All right, there's our eight pieces. One of the things I noticed about Macintosh apples is that they're red and green on the outside, but when you look at the inside, there's also a bit of green color to this white. It's not as white as the Red Delicious. It's not as whitish yellow as the Golden Delicious. This one has more of a green color to the inside. There's our core that we don't want because of course it's got the apple seeds right in there. Okay, so we're ready to draw our next apple. This one is called the Fuji apple. And the Fuji apple is our largest of our six and it's more of a pinkish red color. When I compare it to say the Red Delicious, you can see how much of a darker red the Red Delicious is and how much more pink this one is. Also look at all the little white spots. So when we do our drawing, it's gonna be a large round apple, pinkish red. We'll try and have those spots in as well. Here we go, let's start with our shape. Really big compared to the other apples. Very round. We'll get that red and pink. We'll use like a, a yellow to try and get some of these little dots in here. And I'll add my stem. And there we've got our Fuji apple. Okay guys, so this is the Fuji apple. This is the biggest of our six apples that we have. This is the one that's that pinky red. Let's get nice and quiet and listen to the crunch factor as I call it. So this one doesn't have a stem on it. The stem seems to be missing the branch, but I can center this right over the core. You ready? Here it goes, listen to the crunch. Look at the inside. It's much yellower than any of the other apples. Very yellow inside, not bright white like the uh, Red Delicious was. You can really see the seeds there. Okay, our next apple is the Granny Smith. This is the green apple. Look how green that is. I've added those little dots in there. And there's our Granny Smith apple. This is a little bit of a wobbly apple. Sometimes apples don't sit up perfectly straight. And when you use a, a core like this, you sometimes have to hold the apple in place so that you don't end up cutting it on an angle. But you have to be careful with your hands. All right, you ready? Crunch factor, let's listen to how loud it is. Big crunch, very big crunch, hard to push through. It has a bit of a green color inside. Again, it's a little bit greenish looking inside. Okay, we're down to our last apple. This one's known as the Royal Gala. Again, it's a smaller sized apple, rounder apple. But one of the things we really noticed with this one is how much red and yellow there is. This is truly a red and yellow apple compared to the red and green apple of the Macintosh. So let's draw this one. So I'll start with my red and give it that smaller sized apple shape. We're also going to add that yellow. This one's got a nice big stem. And there's our Royal Gala. We'll center the core. Oop, that's got a nice long branch stem there. Put that right over. You ready? It was crunchy, but it wasn't as crunchy as the other ones. And I got it through pretty easily. 
Yeah, look at the inside. It's a little bit more of that yellow color again. Not that green, not that bright, bright white like the Red Delicious. A little bit yellow. Kind of like the Macintosh was a little bit green being a red and green apple. This one's a little yellow being a red and yellow apple. So look there, guys. You can really see that seed chamber. They call that a seed chamber because it's a hollow spot where the seeds fit right in. And we know that apples have five seeds in them and five chambers. So we've shown so far how to cut apples up into eight pieces by using our apple core or using a knife to cut it this way. But there is another way to cut an apple. And if you cut it on its side very carefully, what you can do is you can create an apple cut that will show what we call the apple star. And inside, you can see those five little arms, the apple star. And that's actually the seed core and where the seeds are hiding inside here. And there's one, two, three, four, and five. Five seed cores where the seeds are hiding. And we know because of these five seed cores, it's a Apples are related then to roses, because roses also have a five seed chamber. That's the apple star cut. And by the way, we know that pears are the cousins to apples. They're related. If we were to cut a pear open, we would also see that seed chamber in there. There it is, same kind of seed chamber, but in a pear. So what we have here is an old-fashioned apple coring machine. Here's the core and turn the apple slices into an accordion. Brings into the machine here on the tray. Spread them out. Hydrating it. This is called a dehydrator. Should end up with apple chips. Hope to see you again soon. I hope you had some fun, worked on some new skills, and maybe learned something new as well. Join me next time on another episode of Lessons from the Classroom. Bye for now. For some more great videos by Mr. C, the teacher, go to Google and do a search for Mr. C's full name, Chris Castellarin, under YouTube. So type in Chris Castellarin YouTube, and you'll find plenty more videos.